Last weekend, the BBC released a documentary about the Burning Sun scandal which shocked the public in 2019. As is known, the Burning Sun case involved a number of big names among K-pop idols. For example, Sungri, former Big Bang, was the brain behind the prostitution case, purchasing prostitution services at Burning Sun. The documentary succeeded in attracting public attention because it managed to reveal a number of facts that had not been revealed. Just mention the various text messages in the chat group which consists of Sungri, other idols such as Yung Jun Young, Yong Jun Hyung, Choi Jong Hoon and Roy Kim. The documentary also continues to make the public highlight the figure of Sungri who seems to live like an ordinary person. As is known, Sungri only received 18 months in prison and was officially released in 2023. Sungri himself seems to be returning to his normal life like before going to prison. Singri himself was seen going to a number of countries such as Indonesia and recently in Malaysia attending the tycoon's birthday there. After the release of the documentary, the public was reminded of a number of videos in the past when Sungri made content videos together with Blackpink members. At that time, Singri was still active as a YG entertainment artist while Blackpink was a rookie girl group at that agency. Prior to their debut, Blackpink members often appeared in content where they had to interact with senior idols, including Big Bang. Singri joined an entertainment program with Blackpink and appeared at Blackpink concert as a guest star. Jenny was also seen appearing in Sungri's solo song entitled, GGB. However, fans noticed the Blackpink members' uncomfortable expressions whenever they met Sungri despite their frequent interactions. While filming, Sungri received a mission that he had to do a prank for Blackpink. Initially, he met the members in the hall of the YG building and greeted them normally. After that, the two men who came with Sungri asked for Blackpink autograph. In particular, one man suddenly took off his t-shirt revealing his back covered in tattoos. After seeing that, the four girls were very scared and Sungri hurriedly came to deal with the situation. Watching the video, Blackpink fans were very angry especially after the Burning Sun scandal broke out. Many pointed out the man's actions were inappropriate in the form of sexual harassment. It doesn't stop there. In the next scene, Sungri continues to carry out another mission, namely inviting Blackpink to the company party. As soon as Singri invited them, the oldest member Jisoo refused by saying they were filming an MV. Sungri turned to Jenny and asked, You wanted to come, right? Singri asked. However, with a serious face, Jenny firmly refused. No, said Jenny. In another video, Sungri is seen giving ramen restaurant vouchers to the four black members. Lisa and Rose, who received the voucher, looked very confused and couldn't even smile. The atmosphere at their meeting was very awkward and Jenny even admitted that Singri made her feel uncomfortable. Even though Blackpink members were still rookies at that time, they had openly expressed their feelings of discomfort. This is not the first time Blackpink has tried to distance itself from Sungri. When Sungri appeared at their concert and made a joke saying Jenny touched his shoulder backstage, Jenny immediately replied, I've never done that. Remembering the Blackpink members' expressions every time they meet Singri now after the Burning Sun scandal, netizens finally understand why girls try to avoid interacting with him. What do you think?